What's going on guys? So, for those of you who've read the description or the title or whatever or know anything about graphics cards, yes, this is a R9290 AMD card. It's a Gigabyte reference model. So, it's one of those notorious ones for running hot. And yeah, it's a, what is it, a 4 Gigabyte card? I don't know. I don't know much too much, too much about AMD cards. I've just been Googling about this while I've been waiting for it to arrive. I bought this on eBay for $41. Um, and yeah, it was sold as faulty. Uh, I had burnt caps apparently according to the listing. Now I've already looked at this. I had to take the cooler off just to make sure it was all there and it wasn't just a big bag of sand or something. And man, this thing's heavy. This is like super heavy compared to my um, 550 Ti. Like this is, this is like a brick and it's huge, which is why I, I got a new case, which is actually the video before this one, which I haven't finished recording yet, but I don't know. It, just ignore that. It's a secret. Shh. Anyway, so, I've already taken off the cooler, and remember, he sold this as burnt caps. So I'll take off the cooler, and, you know, the first thing you notice is it's a bit munged up. I think he might have had this water cooled or something, but the, the uh, vapor tube, whatever it's called there, just the heat sink there, looks okay. Not puffed up or anything, so the actual heat sink looks like it's still functioning. Which is handy. Um, but the uh, main problem is this. I'll see if I can hold this up to the camera. Now, the board looks like it's physically in okay shape. Um, the main problem is a lot of the boards got corrosion on it, which is strange, but uh, being on the coast, it's that's sort of expected. Uh, not, not the real issue. Um, the real issue is it just it didn't say anything about it in the listing. Oh, it kind of annoyed me. I know I got this card dirt cheap, but I would have sort of avoided it if it was sold as that. Um, yeah, anyway. So it's got this really crappy thermal paste on it. That's the stuff you get on eBay for like 50 cents. It isn't really even thermal paste. It's, it's horrible stuff. It has like no... It doesn't work, it's crap, don't buy it. It's it's just grey, it looks a bit like Arctic Silver kind of in the photos, but it's not. It's just grey. And anyway, you can't really use conductive thermal paste on this anyway because it's got the uh, it's got all these smaller components around there, they just look like capacitors or something. Um, and yeah, it's not potted or anything, so you're gonna have a hard time if you put conductive stuff on there. Um, yeah, the board, yeah, as I said, it's in fairly okay shape. This um, looks like a VRM or something here. Looks a bit funny, it's a bit twisted. That might have just been from the factory. Uh, the edge connector, luckily, is okay. I was kind of worried because it just came in like a bubble bag with nothing really wrapped around it. Yeah, I put my finger in that crap. And the bottom of the card, some of this isn't corrosion, some of this is just, um, some of this is just uh, flux residue, but a lot of it is corrosion. Now I've already gone across this board and I've found every single fuse or zero ohm resistor I can and checked them all, they look fine, so the board isn't completely shot. I think it's just, I don't know, it's doing something funny probably. I'm guessing it's um, not, not powering on properly or something, but yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to wash this board with some isopropyl alcohol. I've got like five liters of here, so I'll probably do a full submersion on this. And all these stickers have to go, they're just, they're gone. The, the board doesn't look like it's been too hot. As I said, it just looks like it's just dirty. So we'll have a look at that, and yeah. and it. Okay, so I've cleaned the card up. Got most of the crap out of it, still got a bit of corrosion on it. I messaged the seller and he said, uh, I tried to fix it in the oven, so, uh, okay. Um, it looks okay, apart from probably one or two things. There's two capacitors missing off the board here. Uh, well, let's see if we can find them. There's one missing just there. Fairly big one, and I think there's probably one missing down there somewhere. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the heat sink back on and the cards all dried off and cleaned and everything. I just used a bowl of isopropyl and I'm just going to see if the card will run at all and see what it's doing. Mm, not looking good. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've got the new card in the computer and I can't run it for very long because I haven't put any uh, the thermal pads for the VRMs were completely gone, so I don't want to run it too long. Uh, so yeah, let's see what happens. It's got a blue light. And there we go, so... Hmm, this might be caused by those capacitors. Maybe, but this seems more like a... Um, a memory issue. Hmm. So I'll probably have to reflow this. I need to get some more liquid flux and everything. Yeah. Well, the card's working at least. I'm, I'm running this on DVI, so... Yeah. Anyway. Catch you next time. Hi guys. Thanks for watching my video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It really helps me out. Also, you can find me on Twitter and on my website. I'll put the links in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video.